section is the tabernacle, amen. Mm -hmm. amen. The tabernacle, as we talked, amen, are, is made of three parts, amen. The outer court, mm -hmm. the, the holy place, and the holies of holies. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the reasons I'm teaching you this, brothers and sisters, amen, and God, let me say, God has instructed me to teach you this is amen. because if you don't clearly understand the tabernacle, you don't clearly understand what Christ did for you amen. and who he is. Okay. Okay. It is the tabernacle takes us deeper yeah. into the things of God. It takes us deeper into the mystery of Christ. Ooh. Are you listening to yes, me? Sir. God gave yes, you in the Old Testament yes, things you should be able to understand, yes, physical sir. things, yes, people, sir. days, laws, sacrifices, buildings, mm -hmm. amen, so when he crosses you over to the New Testament, mm -hmm. amen, which is predominantly spiritual, amen, mm -hmm. amen, that you can get a clear understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. The Old Testament helps me get a clear understanding of the New Testament. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. And so, we understand that the old, the tabernacle is the first mm -hmm. building project of the children of Israel. After God brought them out, amen, up from under the Pharaoh's hand, amen, and God, Moses did what God asked him to do, amen, when he brought the people back to the mount where he met God, amen. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that is our job as brothers and sisters. The place you met God, yeah. you are supposed to bring me back to that very place. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Are y'all listening to me? He brought him back to Mount Sinai, amen, back to the Mount of God, amen. And it was on this mount that God instructed Moses, and he, mm. and he gave Moses the Torah, amen. He gave Moses the law. Mm. Why? Because he just brought the people out of slavery, amen. Yeah. And they, they had no governing body. They had no order. They had no structure. They were yeah. wild, amen. Yeah. Yes, they were free, but they were wild, brothers. So that's why when you come out of the world, amen, right. Right. God has to first put order in your life and structure wow. in your life and take, go to church and right. amen serve the Lord amen right. and get on a committee amen yeah. and, right. and get a schedule amen and read the Bible amen because yeah. you have to bring order to your life yeah. 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 let all things be done decently yeah. and in order, yeah. order. Yeah. you can't grow with no order that's right that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's and so, one of the first things he tells him to build, he says, don't go, before you build your house, before you build your farmland, before you build all these various things, amen, for yourself, build a place where you and me will meet. That's what tabernacle means, the meeting place. Amen. Mm. Before you build your life and all these great goals you have for your life and all the great ideas and all the great businesses and all wow. that great stuff. I'm not saying don't do it, but before you do that, build a place yeah. where you and God meet. Yes, sir. Build a headquarters. Yes, sir. <laughs> build a place, a command yes, center. Yes. Or yeah. what knowledge are you building by? Yeah. Come on. Because we're supposed to build according yes, to what we heard. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, Moses, build it uh, this way. Moses just didn't build it the way he thought. Come on. He built it according to the what he had heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. And so they built the tabernacle. Like I said, it's the three parts. Yeah. Amen. The outer courts, which has the the uh, the blazing altar, the bronze altar, mm -hmm. or the altar of sacrifice, amen. Mm -hmm. And it has also the bronze leather. Then he has the holy place. Take me to my next one. The holy place, amen, which has the menorah, the candlestick, the table of shoe bread, and the uh, uh, altar of incense, amen. Mm -hmm. And then the third place, which is we call the holies of holies, is where the Ark of the Covenant rested, amen. amen. And there, amen, the Shekinah glory, or the glory of God, amen, yeah. set. It was at the Ark of the Covenant, yeah. amen, where God met with his people, brothers yeah. and sisters, amen. 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 You you heard me say the outer court, uh, natural light, the, the holy place, revelatory light, speaking of the menorah, mm -hmm. amen, the holies of holies, divine light. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Amen. Amen. The outer court, 
everybody. Amen. Mm -hmm. The holy place, the priests. Amen. The holies of holies, God. We want to get our life to the point where it's just God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The way you walk, the way you talk, yes. the way you think, yes. what you do, just God. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's good, boy. Y'all listening to me. Just God. That's good. That's good. Yeah, isn't that what Jesus did? That's Jesus it. said, I don't speak. Come on. What, just what my father tells me to speak. On. Come on. I don't do <laughs> outside of what my father Come tells on. me to Come do. On. Come on. Come on. I don't go outside of what my father tells me to do. Because me on. and my father are one. Yes. I'm not doing it. I'm not on my own mission. I'm not trying to uh, 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 satisfy myself. Amen. But I have been sent. Amen. On a design yes, mission from my father. If yes, you accept sir. me, you accept my father. That's it. <laughs> if you hear me, you heard my father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what our life is supposed to mirror. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me, brothers and sisters? Ooh. Just God. Ooh. Amen. One of the things I probably let, let's go to the scripture. Let's go to Exodus. And as we cross over to the holies of holies, amen, we're met by the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. Let's go there. Amen. Look with me in Exodus 25, 10 through 22. And we're going to dive deeper in this. And they shall make an ark of Shechem wood. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof. And a cubit and a height, the breadth, the breadth thereof. And a cubit and a half, the height thereof. They shall overlay it with pure gold, within and without. Thou shalt overlay it and shall make upon it a crown of gold around and about. And thou shalt cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners thereof. And two rings shall be on one side of it, and the two rings shall be on the other side of it. Thirteen. And thou shalt make staves of Shechem wood, and overlay them with gold. And shalt put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark, that the ark may be born with them. And the staves shall be in the rings of the ark, and it shall not be taken from it. And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I give thee, and shall make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And make these two, and, and thou shalt make two cherubims of gold, beaten of work, shall thou make them in the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherubim on one end, and the other cherubim on the other end. Mm -hmm. Even of the mercy seat shall ye make the cherubims of the two ends thereof. And the cherubim shall stretch forth their wings and on high, covering the mercy seat mm -hmm. with their wings. And their face shall look on one to another toward the mercy seat, shall the face of the cherubims be. And thou shalt put the mercy seat above the ark. And in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. And I there will meet with thee and will commune with thee Hallelujah. from above the mercy seat. For between the two cherubims, which are upon the ark of the testimony, all these things which I give thee command unto the children of Israel. And that's what we're seeing right here on our screens, amen. Yeah. Just a picture, or let me say a video of how the ark of the covenant looked, amen. 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 We can go to the next one, amen. Uh, so we, we are now crossed over to the holies of holies. When we are met with the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant is similar to, I don't know, if, uh, my grandma used to have those old chests. I don't know if y'all remember those old, big old yeah. chests that they would put stuff in. Amen. Y'all yeah. remember those? Yeah. Amen. You don't see a lot of them now. No. Amen. But it's similar to that, brothers and sisters. It's similar to that. Amen. Uh, it has a body and then it has a top. Amen. The top is what we studied last week is the mercy seat, amen, mm -hmm. which is pure gold. Mm -hmm. Then it has the body, amen. Mm -hmm. One of the things I found very interesting that God uh, uh, calls, amen, uh, things that represent salvation, things that represent his presence, arcs. Ooh. Notice that. Ooh. Mm. Amen. Ooh. When, we, when we think about Noah, Ooh. when God uh, told Noah to build something to the saving of his family, amen, because it was going to rain, amen. It was going to be a great flood, amen. It was going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. 40, amen, is the number of a generation, amen. Yeah, Guys, I'm destroying yeah. the whole generation with this uh, thing, amen. Uh, he told him to build an ark. That's good. <laughs> an ark. That's good, Mo. That's good. That's good word. When Moses got ready to hide her baby, Moses' mother got ready to hide Moses because Pharaoh had decreed to kill 
all the male children to and under. Amen. It says she made an ark. Wow. 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 And the very thing that the children of Israel, amen, made and God commanded them to make, amen, that symbolized his presence, his throne. His glory. We said, I want to meet with you. He called it a uh, ark. One of the things about an ark, brothers and sisters, is an ark you have to get into. <laughs> That's good. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to talk That's about good. what's in this ark today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. An ark you have to go in. Yes. Jesus is that ark. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. That's why Jesus said. If you abide yes, sir. In, me, in, me. in me, uh -huh. in me. And my word yeah. abide in yeah. you, you shall ask yeah. what you want. And the Father, you know, in other words, Jesus yeah. can't just be on you. Right, right. He can't just be in your mouth. Come on. Walk in. Amen. You Come have on. to be Come on. in him. Come yes. On. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. And he has to be in you. In you. All people will say, get in, get in the old ship of Zion. Let him in. Jesus is yes, our ark yes, sir. that keeps us from drowning yes. in this world. Yes. Right, listen to me. Yes. If, if you remain in this world, this world will drown you yes. with its lust, right. Come on. with its vanity, yes. and it will drown you. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You'll be drowned with work. Yes, sir. You'll be yes. drowned. Oh, Come on. Man. If you keep listening to this news, it's going to drown you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to drown you. But how do you, amen, stay safe yeah. is you have to get in Christ. That's it. That's okay, it. okay, that makes That's sense. It. But once again, how do I get in Christ? Do, do I go in his chest? No, no, no. You have to allow his word to come in you. That's, That's it. right. That's right. That's it. That's it. You have to live by his word. The Bible tells us this. The, the God, amen, framed this world yes. by his word. Ooh. One of the reasons that sun keeps getting up and it hasn't been getting up from, from every last, from eon to eon and day to day is because God told it to get up. Ooh. One of the reasons that wind blows, amen, every day because God told it to blow. Amen. One of the reasons, amen, that ocean will come to that, right to that bank, amen, and then it will draw back, amen, and not overflow us and create tsunamis and so why? Because God said, this is the farthest you're going to go. If God were framed this world in, and if you and I, brothers and sisters, are going to be safe in a chaotic world, you have to frame your life with the word. You got to get in the frame. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me, brothers and sisters? And you got to get in the frame. And when the enemy's trying to push you out the frame, you got to say, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> because outside of this art, I'm in danger. I'm vulnerable. Are you listening to me? So you have to allow the word to get deep down. In you, yeah. which puts you in safety. Yeah. The word keeps you safe. That's the hedge of protection. It's the hedge of protection. I listen to me. It will let you know who's real, who's not. It will let you know who's a snake and who isn't. It'll let you know what you should do and what you shouldn't do. It's the word. You don't want to be able to walk around questioning that. Right. 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 Yeah. Amen. It says the word of the lamp into my feet and the light to my path in dark times like these. Amen. How you be able, how you're able to see is through the word. Yeah. Hey, listen to me. The word is our ark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is our ark. Good God of mine. But let's let's go into this ark. Amen. Because this the, the top, amen, is pure gold, which we, which 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 is which is known as the mercy seat. Where the priest will put the blood. Mm. Amen. That's what covers the rest. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The blood covers the rest. Amen. That's why Christ yes, said, sir. Amen. You got to put on the yes, helmet sir. of salvation. That's yes, the Bible. Sir. You got to yes, be covered. Yes, sir. You got to cover your head. Yes, <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? Ooh. Good God Almighty. Ooh. Your head is going to be covered with salvation. But salvation Ooh. comes through the blood, brothers and sisters. Ooh. 
You're supposed your life is supposed to be covered by the blood, blood. brothers and sisters. Amen. Mm -hmm. That that's what makes us able to go in, brothers and sisters, and sacrifice his life. Let me go back. It says, when Jesus died and sacrificed his life, it said the veil that was in the temple, yes. the veil that yes. covered the holies of holies, Ooh. it says that same Ooh. veil, when Jesus was dying, yes. was ripped from the top to the bottom, brothers and sisters. Understanding Jesus' death is what gave us access to come into the ark. Amen. Amen. You couldn't come into a relationship with God without having an atonement, amen, for your sins. So when Jesus was dying, God was ripping the veil. That's why I let you know it was ripped from the top to the bottom. If you study this veil, this veil was very thick, amen, amen, and, and it, was, it was tall at that, amen. So it said somebody got up there and ripped it from the top to the bottom. That was God, amen, giving us now access to him, amen. Not just one day, brothers and sisters, but every day. So now I can go in. I'm saved. But there's attributes of being saved. Say, saved is the main thing, but you don't want to stop there. Right. Now I'm supposed to cross over. Come on, into what salvation really is. And one thing this ark shows us, amen, is what salvation really is. Go with me to the book of Hebrews. Mm. We're going to go to the book of Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 9. See, we want to be very clear. I changed salvation. What is that? Oh, amen. I ain't going to hell. What I'm going to do while I'm alive? Come on, talk. Talk, sir. Oh, I thank God that I'm not going to hell, but I'm not dying. I'm not planning to die yet either. That's it. <laughs> so what Ooh. am I going to do now? Oh my God. Amen. Amen. Hebrews nine. Look with me. Yes. Now let's read. Let's read one through four. I want to take you to four, but let's read one through four. Yeah, good. Wow. Amen. Ooh. Then barely the first covenant good. God, oh had also ordained ordinances of divine service. Mm -hmm. And a worldly sanctuary, talking about the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. But there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick yep. and the table of shoe bread, okay. which is called the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holies of all, mm -hmm. which had the golden censer and the ark of the covenant. Yep. Over, overlaid around with gold, wherein the lid out. Now look what was in the look what was in the ark. Yes. Wherein was the golden pot that had manna, mm -hmm. Aaron rye that budded, mm -hmm. and the tables of the covenant, mm -hmm. tablets, excuse me, of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Over it, the cherubims, amen, of glory, shouting the mercy seat, amen, which we cannot speak in particular. Amen. This is a mystery of God, amen, yeah. for letting us know. But yeah. inside this chest, uh -huh. mm -hmm. You remove the top. There was a golden pot of manna. Mm -hmm. It was a pot of manna. It was right, a golden pot. Right. They put the manna in. Right, right, right. It was Aaron Rod that budded. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. And it was the Ten Commandments. Okay. Mm -hmm. Inside of it. Uh -huh. A pot of manna. Okay. Aaron Rod that budded. And the Ten Commandments. That's Salvation good. inside of Jesus. Let, let's let's start with Aaron Rod that budded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it's so questions that help me, Holy Ghost. Go ahead. The nation of the children of Israel got tired of the leadership of Moses and Aaron. Mm -hmm. They got tired of it. We still wandering in this weird wilderness. Y'all ruling over us. Amen. 
Now they were they weren't supposed to wander. They were supposed to go into the promise. But the reason they're wandering, amen, is they couldn't believe God was going to fulfill his promise. And they murmured and complained against their blessing. And God said, since you believe I can't do it, then I'm not going to do it, and you're going to die in this wilderness. <laughs> and they wandered for 40 years, the whole 40, once again, number of generations. He killed off that whole generation that came out of Egypt. They let their kids enter it. But, but they, got, they, they got mad of the leadership and the way God set it in order. Oh. And it was a couple of men, Corinth being one of them. Oh. Can't think of the other two brothers. They mm. they, they they started a revolt. Oh. And they said, we're going to overthrow Aaron and Moses. We're tired of that. Mm. Who made them the kings over us and the princes over us? And this is all, brothers and sisters, just for your learning, amen. This is all, amen, in the book of Numbers. Okay. Amen. I want to make sure. Mm. That's good. Amen. amen. Number 17. You, you read that whole chapter, you'll see what I'm talking yeah, about. Amen. 16 and 17. Amen. Oh, yeah. and, they, and they wanted to start a revolt. They started a revolt. Uh -huh. Amen. Wow. Wow. They riled up the people uh -huh. against God's leaders. Uh -huh. Wow. Amen. And Moses fell out on his face and said, what are you right. doing? Yeah. In other words, I didn't oh. put myself in this position. Yeah. God put me in this position. And if you're fighting me, you're fighting God. That's why you don't have to worry about, brothers and sisters, when you're doing something for the Lord right. who's fighting you. Amen. Right. God said, just stand still and you'll see the salvation Woo. of the Lord. For the battle is not yours, but it belongs to God. Amen. If God started you, oh, God. it's God's job right. to finish you. It's not it. your job it. to finish you. Too often, brothers and sisters, Amen. When somebody prophesies over people, that person will try to fulfill that prophecy. But that ain't your job. When God uses somebody to prophesy over you, it is God's job to bring that prophecy to pass. You and I will mess up when we try to take that prophecy ourselves and do it ourselves, brothers and sisters. Are y'all listening to me? That's how Abraham messed up. He tried to do it on his by his power. So we don't have to worry about, brothers and sisters, when enemies attack us. Right, right, right. Show up. Because you didn't start yourself anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if you, don't have to, if you don't start yourself, you don't have to defend yourself. That's it. That's it. You just have to keep focused on what God calls you to do. That's it. That's it. That's it. So Aaron, Moses, ladies, that's what are y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he goes before God. God says, I'm going to kill him. Wow. Wow. God, I'm gonna kill him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He says, he uh -oh. says, he says, if, if y'all leave, <laughs> the Bible says this way, he says, if, if y'all live and just die, it wasn't God. He said, but this day God is gonna swallow you up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good God Almighty. Those brothers that started that revolt, amen, mm -hmm. and, and brought the vision oh. amongst God's children because God hates the vision. Oh. Yeah. Right. Amen. It says God opened the earth yeah. and it swallowed wow. them yeah. and everybody that followed them. Wow. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <Wow. laughs> Stay with me because we're we going somewhere. Wow. All right? Wow. And then the next day, they're dead and gone. The brothers and those 200, I want to say about 250 people that tried to start this revolt in numbers. Yeah. And then the, and the children of Israel got mad and said, why has God done this to hit the congregation and so forth, right? Right, 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 right. And Moses said, what are y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He says, oh, Lord, a plague then jumped out amongst y'all already. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's While he's speaking, amen, a plague is starting to kill, amen, the people yeah. inside the camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they're revolting against God's leadership. Are y'all listening to me? So how this rod came to be, God said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Take a rod from each tribe. Are mm -hmm. oh, y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. And lay it out before me. Mm -hmm. And the rod, brothers, is that bug. Now, remember, this is a rod. This is a, this is a dead piece of wood. Mm -hmm. It's dead. It has been detached from the vine. Mm -hmm. It is no good. Anything that is detached from the vine starts to die. Mm -hmm. 
They lay up 12 rods before God, and God said, and he told them, write Aaron's name on one rod. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They write name, Aaron's name on one rod, and the next day, it says, Aaron rod budded, it brought forth blossom, and it brought forth almonds. Wow. <laughs> Almond was the first wow. tree to bud and blossom in Israel. Amen. The menorah was made uh, and, and, and crafted after an almond tree. And so now you have Aaron's rod, a stick. You remember that stick we was walking with yesterday, your stick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A rod? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It got fresh fruit coming off of it, fresh <laughs> almonds. God was letting the children of Israel know this is who I am chose to lead. Amen? Amen. Understanding in, in the leadership of the kingdom of God, you cannot choose yourself. That's it. That's it. You can say you want to be something, and that's okay. But if God does not choose you to hold that office, you can't be it. I don't care how much education you get. I don't care what school you go to. I don't care what degree you go to. The, the positions of the kingdom are callings. God has to call you into positions. Are you listening to me? You're my pastor. You're my prophet. You're my evangelist. You're, he has to call you into this thing. Are you listening to me? That's what, that's what gives you the grace to do it. Yes. Is that you're walking in your call. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Thank you, That's good. But this, but this rod is more than just about choosing the leader. Yes. This rod, brothers and sisters, is showing us resurrection power. Amen. Yes. This rod showed us God took a dead thing yes. and brought life out of it. Wow. Wow. Are you listening to wow. me? Pointing us to Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. The true rod of God. The true leader of God. What, what, how did God identify Christ as our leader? Is that he killed him and he rose him from the yes. dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all listening to me. The same way God identified Aaron to being that leader of the people and to go before God. Amen. Is that he got, he took a dead thing and he brought it back to life. One of our attributes, or one of the things we receive, brothers and sisters, in salvation is that we receive resurrection power. Are y'all listening to me? Good God Almighty. Except the man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of. God, brothers and sisters, amen. One of the uh, things that Christ does with us, amen, once we have confessed with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believed in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, brothers and sisters, we are regenerated, amen. He rebirths us, amen. He remakes us. He reshapes us. He takes the old dead you. Thank you, Jesus. And he brings life out of it. Who would have ever thought Mustafa would have been a pastor. Who would have ever thought Mustafa would have been preaching the word yeah. when I walked in such deadness, yeah. such sin. Are y'all listening to me? But God took that old dead rock and, and from that dead thing he brought life. And he wrote your name on it. And he wrote your name. And listen to me. That, that's us. That, that's what makes you able to lead. Are y'all listening to me? That, that's, that's why Paul was able to build, predominantly, or write predominantly the New Testament and build the church, brothers and sisters. Amen. And notice God didn't take a perfect person. God didn't take one of the, for the, the first 12 uh, apostles. Amen. God took the same man that was trying to destroy the church. And he built the church. The same man that was going into the Christians' homes and killing them and dragging them out, amen, to be killed and to go into prison, one day was on the road of Damascus, brothers and sisters, and he met Jesus. Amen. Good God. And Jesus so changed his life, amen, that this man that was on a mission to kill Christians is now preaching the same gospel. Are y'all listening to me? You can't, uh, you can't lead in the 
until you first were dead, oh, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Walk in the newness of life until you first was dead, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. That's how you know yeah. God has the power. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Because you are not supposed to be the same you. Right. <laughs> but you are supposed to be a new creature in Christ. Old yes. things have passed away. Yes. Behold, all things become yes. new. If you are still the same person, right. it is a sign you have not been born again. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now y'all listen to me. That's how you become a legitimate child of God. That you have to be born of God. Of God's DNA. We were talking about that on, on, on Wednesday. Uh, if we took the DNA between you and God and we took it to Maury. What they say, he's your father. <laughs> because after a while, there has to be some DNA tests. Yeah. Are you listening to me? My, my, my son does things like me, amen, not because he's been studying me. It's because the same DNA that's in me is in him. And whether he wants to do it or not wants to do it, he can't help it, Amen. Are you listening to me, brother? Yes, After a while, I should be able to look at your life and see some DNA of God in you. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's or is God your father? Yes, that's it. That's good. So what we receive in salvation is a new life. Yes, that's it. That's it. Amen. We are. We have died to sin. That's what baptism is. Yeah. And rose to walk. In the newness of life. God has a life with your name on it. I did not know when I said yes to Jesus that this would be the result. He did not tell me that I would be one of his shepherds, that I would be doing ministry, that I would be building this, and that I would be doing that. God did not enclose that information. And he doesn't, brothers and sisters. He encloses that information as you walk with him. As you suck with him. Amen. As you hang out with him. Then he starts to allow you to walk in the life that he has designed for you. Yes. Are you listening to me? You are not experiencing life until you experience life yes. in Christ. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You don't even know who you are. Nope. That's right. You don't even know your purpose. Nope. That's right. nope. You don't even know what was in you. I never knew yeah. all of this was in me. <laughs> are you listening to me? I never had no idea I could do this. But as I walk with God, he exposed me to who I really was. Wow. You have to walk with God to the point that he just starts to expose who you really are. Not what your mama said, not what your daddy said, not what the preacher said. Who are you in God? I know who you are in the world, but this ain't that. Who are you in Christ? Right, 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 right. Are you walking in the newness right, right, of right, life? Right. God has the power That's it. to take every dead thing that you've been through in life, yes. every dead situation, right. every dead storm, every dead situation, uh, circumstance, and when you hand it over to him, he can bring life out of it. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, like you heard me say before, you know how you know your ministry? Mm -hmm. What did he bring you out of? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was your graveyard? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your graveyard? Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, we all had graveyards. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. What did he raise you out of? Well, mm -hmm. it's that very thing he rose you out of that you should go back and call other people out in his name. Are you listening to me, brother? Sure, sure, sure. The newness of life. The newness of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God has a new life with your name. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Yes. And if he rolls you out, that's what makes you the leader. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what made Moses the leader over the children of Israel? Mm. Amen. Mm. He got rolled out of being Pharaoh's son. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that that was his wow. seed. That's what made him capable of overthrowing. Is yeah. that he knew it? Wow. Yeah. You can't overthrow something you don't know. That's right. <laughs> that's good. Are you listening to me? Uh, who are you talking today? That, that's what made him. Mm -hmm. That's why he could lead him out. Because I know that man. That's right. That's good. Yeah. The newness of life. In this ark mm. was a dead stick that budded mm. <laughs> wow. through the power of God. Mm. God want to take your dead life and bud. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And bring fruit yeah. from it. That's good. He want to use you to do great things. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. He said, I, I, I have chosen the weak to bring down the strong. Yeah. I've, chosen the, I've chosen the foolish to bring down the wise. Yeah, yeah. I've chosen the very thing that they said, no way he can do that. Yeah. No way she can do that. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Right. Those are the individuals I chose to perform it. It's because it's in them performing it, amen, yeah. that I get the glory. Yeah. 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 Uh, one, one of the things they identify with the 12 apostles outside of Judas, and Judas not being one, but, but, but with Peter and so forth, they were unlearned men. Unlearned men. Wow. But yet they spoke with so much power. Wow. <laughs> and all they can wow. say is, they wow. must have hung out with Jesus. Wow. Are y'all listening? Yeah, God want to use us to the point, brothers and sisters, that people say, there's no way you can do that. That's right. right. You don't have that type of pedigree. You don't come from that type of background. Right. There's no way you should know that. There's no way you should have that type of influence. <laughs> Amen. Right. God wants to use those people so that they can be identified with the only way yeah. is Jesus. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Am I making sense, brother yeah, sisters? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. That's how you let your light so shine before men yes, that they see your good works but glorify your Father which is in heaven. So often God will cause oh, dead sticks yes, sir. Oh, yes, to, yes, yes, to bud. Mm -hmm. Now, not only was bro, uh, 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 Aaron's rod in the ark, once again, that's representing new life, resurrection power. Amen. Christ raising us from the dead. Amen. But it was also the Ten Commandments. God told uh, Moses, put the tablets by which I'm going to give you in this ark. Mm -hmm. The law. Mm -hmm. The law now is covered by the blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. The law is covered by the blood. Mm -hmm. Now remember when he first gave them the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. on the mount. Yeah. Before Moses could even give them the law. When he got down there, they were dancing and worshiping naked around the golden calf. Mm -hmm. yep. right. <laughs> Moses was gone too long. Right. The pastor was gone too long. <laughs> he gets to the people. Oh my God. And the people are not found worshiping God. No. They're found worshiping an idol. <laughs> that they see in their old master worship. Right. Are y'all listening to me? <laughs> it made Moses so angry yeah. that he threw him at him yeah. and broke him. Yeah. Why? Because they broke the first commandment. Right. 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 Have no other God beside me. Right. <laughs> but this lets us know to try to fulfill the law outside of Christ, you can't do it. When you and I are reborn again, God writes his law on your heart. Yeah. Write your law on my heart so I will not sin against you. Mm. It has to be in you. Right. And not trying something you're not trying to do. Right. It has to be who you are. I used to tell my football players why do winners win. Yeah. Ultimately, I would bring them to the group because they're winners. 
If, if winning is something you're trying to do, you might do it one day. Right. You might not do it the next. That's right. That's but when winning becomes who you are, right. Right. are you listening to me? You can't try to live like a Christian. You have to be a Christian. <clears throat> when you become a Christian, amen, sin ain't so hard. Because it's who you are. When you become a Christian, sinning is actually against your very nature. And that's what brings on the spirit of condemnation. Because I'm not that. It's the same, brothers and sisters, that when you are a sinner, trying to do righteousness is against your nature. <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? Good, good. So, so what we receive from Christ, mm -hmm. death, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. is that I actually receive the power through the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. to live the way God called me to live. Mm -hmm. It ain't hard not to sin. Right, right. right. Just do what the Word says. That's good. That's good. No, it's really that simple. It is. I know we often say that, that you know, all sin upon you, and I get that, amen, because we have, amen. But shall we continue to abide in sin? When we have been made new creatures in Christ? No. The thing that makes us sin is the same thing that made the children of Israel sin. You just want to do it your way. All right. Because you actually have the power through the Holy Ghost not to do it. See, I know this because I sinned when I was a sinner and I sinned since I've been saved. And I've noticed every time I sinned since I've been saved, I chose to do that. Amen. Uh, Amen. I got to keep it real. It wasn't no devil. It wasn't something just getting me and overpowering me. No, 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 no. I chose to do it. Before I was doing it, I put so much word in me. The word was telling me, don't do it. What are you doing, Mustafa? You my child. You my son. What are you doing? When I start doing it, I start praying. Because I, I got to keep it real. Because I knew I should I shouldn't be doing it. That means I had a choice. Before, when I was a sinner, I really didn't have a choice. I didn't know how to live right. Are y'all listening to me? I didn't understand the laws of God. I didn't understand how to walk with the Lord. But now I have I been walking with him. No, no, no. I made that choice. We blame stuff on the devil, but the devil has no leadership rulership over you. You don't see no devil in the heart. Right. Are y'all listening to me? You don't see no demons in the heart. Right. No, this is just God. Yeah. This is just God. God delivered you from sin. He delivered you from the hand of the enemy. We just have to have enough obedience and discipline to bring this body under subjection to the things of God. Yes. And don't make an excuse for yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They nailed That's it. That's it. Just repent. repent. Turn from your wicked ways yes. and follow the Lord. Because you have a choice. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. That's right. Because God is telling you, He's communing with you, He's talking to you. He has wrote his, the will of him on your heart. Yeah. The reason they had to offer every year on the Day of Atonement, lamb after lamb after lamb, because they really didn't have the power to live it. That's, yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. They didn't have the Holy Ghost. They, they didn't have sacrifices. Yeah. But once Jesus died, amen, yeah. it allowed the, the, the third uh, part of the Godhead to come in. In the Old Testament, he would just come upon them. Right. He came upon Samson, and right. Samson killed a thousand. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? He came upon Elijah, and Elijah outran chariots. You have a greater promise. He's yeah. not on you. Yeah. He's in you. Jesus said, greater works you can do. Yes, sir. 
Greater works. Yes. Well, let me tell you one of the greatest works Jesus did. Mm -hmm. He lived in a sinful world, yet he did not sin. Raising up the dead and the laying on hands and the feet. No, no, no. The greatest work he did is that he learned how to put his life in full discipline to God. Yes, sir. That's it. But that, that focus on that. I got to listen to me, brothers and sisters. But outside of God, you can't do it. Outside, if the law is not covered by the blood, it's broken. Are you listening to me? Moses got first, first of ten, God said he wrote it. He chiseled out the stone and said the finger of God wrote it. Second time, God made him chisel out that stone. <laughs> you broke I didn't tell you to do that either. You shouldn't have got that mad at him, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. now, now, you got to dig and chisel this stone out. Wow. God make a man out of you. But God. <laughs> see, that, that's why you have to watch He's out. Listen to me. Listen to me. That's why you have to watch out for beliefs and theologies that try to instruct you by your power, you can keep the law. Right, right, right. You have to watch out for that. You don't let nothing bring you back underneath the law. That's good. Are you listening to me? Jesus has fulfilled the law. Exactly. Are you listening to me? Exactly. The life that we live, we live by grace and mercy. The work has already been done. Wow. You, are y'all listening to me? You cannot work your way into heaven. I don't matter how many sermons I preach or what I do. This does not make me uh, uh, able to go into heaven. I am able to go into heaven based off the work that Christ did. But the work that Christ did, amen, since you know you have received it freely, amen, it should put a motive in you that will make you want to do something. And make you want to live for it. And make you want to do right for it. Because you know you receive stuff that you shouldn't receive. Yeah. You're living a life you shouldn't be living. Wow. Good God. Almighty. You keep complaining about that life, but that very life you living, you shouldn't be living. Woo. Thank you, you shouldn't be living in that house. You shouldn't be living in that car, driving that car. You shouldn't have that beautiful family. You shouldn't have. No, 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 no. Because you and I, if we go off with God, as God set it up, you and I deserve death. And we do not deserve the favor of God that's on our life. Anybody in this room really know the favor of God is on your life? Good God Almighty. Well, you didn't deserve that. You didn't earn that. God did that for you and I. Jesus took you and I sin on the cross. Amen. That we may take his life. This life, he took our death that we may take his life. This life that I'm living, good God Almighty, I'm living because Christ gave it to me. Wow. I didn't earn it. Didn't earn it. But if you got a righteous heart, yeah. if you allow him to soften your heart, that's good. As you listen to me and take out that heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh, amen. You will come to grip to say, Well, I deserve this. I deserve hell. I deserve aid the men to have, have AIDS. Amen. I deserve all the bad things. But because of your grace and mercy, Lord, I'm living this beautiful life. How dare I wake up and complain about this life you gave me? How dare I wake up and complain about this house you gave me? How dare I wake up and complain about that wife you gave me? About them children you gave me? Lord, I don't deserve. Amen. You gotta get it in the right mode. See, what made the children of Israel start murmuring yeah. and complaining yeah. is that they thought they earned that stuff. They thought that God owed them something. But God don't owe us nothing. God don't have to bless us. God don't have to keep us. God does everything He does because He loves us. And if we are good God Almighty. And He said in the 
And then I'm going to stop. Preach. Talk. Preach. Because I showed Talk. you how I love you. Yeah. Talk. Wow. Wow. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So you humble yourself. Yes, sir. And you serve. And you do for him. But, wow. it, but it's not wow. to get something. Come on, now. Talk. It's not Talk. I'm trying to prove something. That's right. it. That's it. That's it. Because I love him. Yes. 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 Amen. Relationship with him. Because he first extended his love towards yes. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, listen to me. Yes. 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 It's finished. Yes. He fulfilled the law. Yes. Yes. God, Jesus only left us mm. one commandment. He said, to love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. That's it. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's it. That ain't that easy. That's it. Don't you understand? According to the Jewish tradition, laws over what, four or five hundred laws? Yes. Mm. Don't do this, don't do that. You can't. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't chew this way. Wash your feet that way. Right, right, right. But God was pointing out how far yeah. mankind is away from me. Mm -hmm. this, this is what I expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and God never lowered his standards. Mm -hmm. Wow. Never. 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 Yeah. Hey, Amen. He just gave us the power to come up to it. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. That's good. So when you and I mm. rely on Christ every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. To live, you gotta rely on Christ every day to live. That's right. Yes. Lord, Lord, give me the strength to live the way you told me to live. That's it. That's right. Give me the strength to talk the way you told me to walk. Give me the strength to treat people how you told me to treat people. Yes. You have to rely on the Holy Ghost power for that. Oh, that's good. That's good. He gives you the power to do that. You can't do it by your own power. Okay, I can't do it. Amen. You can't do it in your own your own self. You have to do it in your new self. Yeah. 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 Amen. God is not yeah. calling for the old you. He wants the new you. Yeah. 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 He keeps saying, let that man die. Let that, die. Die. Let that girl die. Right. 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 And walk in the newness yeah. of life. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, you have the pot of magic. Mm. Wow. Aaron robbed that buddy. Salvation, the Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. the Law, Torah, or let me say your character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Gotta got to produce a godly character. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, and then it had manna. The, the Bible, uh, in, in one passage, uh, calls manna angel food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Manna. The bread of heaven. God providing for his people. Provision. Total provision. That's, that's why God told them you can't store it up. God told them you can't no, give us this day. Yeah, our day. Total provision. Pointing to Christ as being our provider. Amen. Christ being the provision. Amen. He told them when he when it when it says after the dew clear, when they woke up, it was just there. Mm -hmm. wow. First they just went to bed. And when they woke up, it was just there. That's so good. They didn't have to work for it. No. <laughs> they, they they didn't have to farm for it. No. That's awesome. They just went to bed. And when they woke up, God provided their breakfast. Right. Said so when the dew cleared, it was it was manna. Yes, right, mm -hmm. right. Amen. It was round things, yeah, yeah, yeah. wafers almost. Yeah. <laughs> and he told Moses, "Put a store a little bit up. Mm. Put it in the ark, because mm. he wanted the people to know one thing: you receive when you go into Christ is total provision." That's why Jesus said you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. My father takes care of the fowls in, in the sky. That's right. Aren't you worth more important than a bird? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my, my father feeds the squirrels in the trees. Yes. Yes. Wow. My father feeds the sea. Oh, no, they don't do it on their own. My father provides for them. Mm -hmm. He feeds the fish in the sea. Yes, sir. Aren't you worth more than a fish? <laughs> 
Are you listening to me? But but you have to learn how to trust in me. Yes. You have to learn how to rest in me. Excellent. You you have to learn how to know that I am the one that is going to provide for you. It is my job as your father to provide for you. It is not your job to provide for yourself. Right. <laughs> if you are the source of your own provision, then you become your own God. Come on, Come on. That's That's right. Now I'm going to give you things like man, it's just going to fall. Mm-hmm. Now you got to just pick it up. I just give you a drop. It just falls. All you got to do is pick it up. I'll give you an idea. It'll just fall. Mm. All you got to do is. I'll give you a ministry. It'll just fall. I'll, I'll give you a building. It'll just fall. He gave us this building. Mm. Wow. Wow. All I had to do was. I'll give you a house. It'll just. Wow. They'll call you and say we got a house. All you got to do is just. <laughs> Are you listening to me? That's how God works. Yes, he's awesome. As you walk with him, no. Yes. As you do what he's asking you to do, yes. like Ruth, as you're walking and just gleaming, you just start picking up him fools and stuff. You'll pick up a family. That's so true. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You pick up a husband. You just pick up a wife. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but, but, but. It's coming, girl. But you have to look to him. Yes. Amen. Seek ye yes. first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. But you cannot seek him for his hand. Right, right, right. You gotta seek him for his heart. Yes. Wow. Are you listening to me? You cannot seek him for his blessings. No. You have to seek him for his heart. Yes. Yes. I found a man after my own heart. He he wants what I want. That's good. Amen. You 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 God you God will start opening the windows and pouring out a blessing on you when you start to desire what he desires. Yes. When your appetite becomes his appetite. Yes. I'm getting it. When your goals become Wait his for me, goals. Jesus. Wait for me. When your wants become his wants. Wait for me, God. I'm coming. Are you listening to me? Yes. Then, then he yes. will just pour out and drop stuff because he knows you're not going to waste it. Yep. He knows you're going to be a good steward. So good. See, yes. see, one of the problems, though, with the children of Israel is they call God's bread. Manna. What is it? Manna means what is it? What is it? Amen. They were looking at a miracle, uh, saying, what is, what is it? Question. Wow. 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 Some of you, 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 you're looking at your life and you're saying, what is, what is it? it? But you're looking at a miracle. Don't even know. It. <laughs> <laughs> When you know what you've been through, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. when you know the stuff yes, that you sir. have walked through, yes, sir. when you know the enemies you have fought with yes, and the demons that you had to overcome, yes, you, you don't want to be looking at yourself saying, what is it? Come on. Oh, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Yes. You are going to be looking at yourself saying, pray. Yes. Uh, are y'all listening to me? I'm the bread of heaven. I'm the bread of heaven. Are y'all listening to me? He beat me with fine flour. He used every trial and tribulation to make me fine flour that other people may eat off me. Good God of my Are y'all listening to me? That's why he sent me through this and he sent you through that and he sent you through that. Amen. Because he's trying to teach you who you really are that you may be fruitful and multiply. But you keep crying about your situation too much. You are, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? And you're not saying, no, it was good for me. Yes, it was. Good. 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 Huh? 
You got to stop yeah. looking at yeah. the miracles of God in your life yeah. and saying manna. Yeah. Right. Instead of saying miracle. Yeah. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Miracle. That's good. Miracle. That's good. Miracle. You're a miracle. If you've been raised from the dead. Oh, out of that dead stuff you went in and now you are walking with God and you can hear the voice of God and you have lined your life up with God. Amen. And you know you are a new creature God. You are a miracle. miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Manna is total provision. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? One thing you and I receive when we accept Christ back into our life, is we receive total provision. Total provision. Total provision. You're back in the garden. Wow. Remember, that's the whole point. Why Jesus came and died. Is to bring us back into communion. Remember, Adam lost it. Yeah. He got kicked out of the garden. Jesus. Jesus died to bring you back. And all you and I do is be good stewards over what he gives us. Ain't that simple? Ain't that simple? Ain't that simple? That's it. We're back in communion. Don't let the devil lie to you. That's so good. And pull you out of your garden. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Don't let him do what he did to Adam and Eve. Wow. Don't start making, making, letting him make you God over your own life. Right. right. No, no, no. Right. Stay humble. Stay under the leadership of Christ. Yes. Stay in the garden. Obedient. Plant yourself in the garden. He wrote it. Those that plant themselves in the house of God shall flourish in his courts. Yes. Are y'all listening to me? Plant yourself in God. That's so good. Don't take, put your eyes on this and on that and that oh Plant yourself in God. That's it, that's all. And you'll flourish. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm just a butterfly. You'll flourish. Awesome. You'll flourish. You'll grow. Awesome. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, what salvation did for us? I'm done. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, it's in God. this ark. What did Christ do? He rose us from the dead. Amen. He wrote on our hearts the law of God. Amen. 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 And he gave us total provision. Does not matter what's going on in this world. Amen. God, job will he will provide for you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But you have to trust it. Hallelujah. You have to trust it. Lord, I trust you. That they're talking about sickness. They're talking about this. They're talking about that. Lord, I trust you. I trust you, yes, that you will be my doctor, you will be my healer, yes. you will be my provider, yes, you will be my way maker. Yes. I put on the helmet of salvation. Yes. I will make it. Yes. I will be saved. I will be strong. Oh, yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, no, now notice, I'm done, but notice, when we put on the forearm of God, it didn't tell us to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Now normally when a soldier puts on armor, they go. God didn't say that. He says, put on the full armor of God that you might be able to stay. Why? Because you're already in the garden. Mm. You already got it. You got to stand your ground because the devil comes to steal, yeah. kill, and destroy. He wants to steal what God already got. Yes, he does. He robs all the time. Amen. So he says, don't put on the form of God to hold your ground. Yes. Hold your ground. You will not take my guard from me. He will not take me out of fellowship with God. He will not take me out of fellowship with his people. He will not take me off my path. Yes. 
Amen? Amen. 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 To God be the glory of God. Amen. I think we got one more. Amen.